So the main concept to take home today is that this browser project allows you to collate all of your information related to a given formulation on one page. So we've got some information about the experiment details, the, uh, the form where the formulation was created, who created it, what application field it sits in, what the acquired amount uh, was it, for example, and then some information about the ingredients. And we've got a really nice representation here of uh, a tiered structure. So if you are using uh, the concept of a premix or a formulation within a formulation, that's nicely highlighted here in this particular example, where you can see uh, the, the, the two ingredients at the bottom have been combined and then used in the, the, the tier above. This is really nicely demonstrated when you're using the same ingredient in two tiers. Um, I can show quite nicely uh, a nice chart that then flattens the structure of the formulation so that you can see for ingredient dot zero 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 one um, that it's combined and calculated the total amount of that ingredient in this particular formulation. So it's a nice visual representation of this. Other features that we've included in this browser form are the integration with our registry or reagents project. So if you are interested in structures as a, a, a formulation scientist, you can also delve into the individual ingredients, see where they came from, uh, when they were registered, etc., if they were created in-house, for example. Moving on to the process step, that's all captured on belief and uh, for those of you that are familiar with browser, you know that you can then search all of this information as well. So if you are interested in finding a formulation that has certain ingredients and um, has had particular process steps involved in, in the, the production of it, that can all be searched uh, in this form. I've got information here such as the various stages and operations that were performed on this formulation, the components that were used at each step and some information about the equipment. Um, what's nice to show here is the validation step. So the use case here is that you may define a particular process that you'd like a technician or a scientist to complete, and then they can mark it off as, as completed as per uh, the requirements or whether there had to be a deviation from that particular step. Moving on to the sample-centric uh, view here, I can, I can see uh, what samples I've got of that formulation. The formulation may evolve over time, so you might have a sample taken earlier in the, the evolutionary stage of that formulation, and these can all be captured here as well. Um, at this point, it's really nice to show the uh, sample ID project. And again, for those of you that are interested in structural information, it's a really nice representation of showing all of the uh, components or ingredients from your formulation in one place. This is also um, structure searchable, so if you are interested in similar uh, formulations, this can all be searched very easily. And then you've got the appropriate data that's uh, collected at the sample level as well. If I jump back just to the, the, the formulation-centric view and move on, we've also got the information for the analytical results and the application testing data all in one place.